Hi, my name is Liz McDonald, and I'm a space plasma physicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. So I study how the beautiful dynamic auroras are born and form and evolve. And to do that, um, I started a project called Aurorasaurus. People all around the world can report the aurora that they see, and that helps us know where it is and what it's doing. The sun gives us charged particles and they impact the Earth's magnetosphere, which is our magnetic shield. And the sun compresses the magnetosphere on the day side when it's daylight and then stretches it out into a long tail on the night side where you see aurora. This uh, magnetic field stretches and holds that energy and periodically releases that energy from hundreds of thousands of miles away into the Earth's atmosphere, and that's where you get the lights of the aurora. Steve is a rare, unusual, aurora-like mystery in the night sky that was spotted at lower latitudes than the usual aurora. Um, latitudes like Calgary, Alberta, a very faint, purple ribbon was overhead in the sky there and citizen scientists reported it and we worked together to understand more and collect more traditional observations about this ribbon. The usual aurora rains down on the atmosphere from space and creates light but Steve is a really strong east to west flow and it creates some light as it goes. I really can't choose just one. There was the Halloween storm of 2003, which was a really big event that caused blood red skies all over the US. And I got to see that from New Hampshire. That was really exciting. Uh, there was also aurora that I've seen from Fairbanks, Alaska, where uh, my thesis project was on a rocket to study that aurora and we were looking for big whopping aurora to find out the microphysics of how that works. It's really hard to choose. The aurora is always different. 